I just decided to do a short little video on the Mark 1 Golf suspension. Uh, I'm sure it's the same for Mark 2 and Mark 3. So how do you know if your strut is, or your suspension is good or not? I got these second hand for free. So before I put them into my car, how do I know that they're actually good enough to do well, for my suspension? So you can press down, up and down on top of them, and like, yeah, they do compress, but sure, that doesn't tell you enough of if the dampener itself is actually working or not. So I took one apart, and here it is. So you can see again, there's a little bit of wear just there. And when you push up and down, there is a great smell of oil or burnt oil. So that's kind of an indication that, um, yeah, it's probably come to the end of its life or um, usefulness. So when you push down, you can, it goes down quite easily and it doesn't come up or down. So if it came back up, you know it's a gas filled strut. But it's not, it's an oil filled strut, because they're, they're uh, originals. And also, when you pull it up, when it's fully up, so we just let it just drop there for a minute. When it's fully up, when you let go, it should retract itself. But uh, this one obviously doesn't, because it's worn out. So when I let go of that now, just by even put your finger just at the side, you should feel the piston going back down. So here I have replacement ones. I uh, bought them off eBay, They're, it was 50 euros, it worked out about 50, I mean 40 and 50 euros for two of them including postage. So um, it was pretty good value and they're oil filled, not gas filled struts. So again, a gas filled strut, if you left like that, it would keep expanding all the way up. Um, they're, they're great, but they tend to be a little bit bouncy, especially in a very light vehicle like a Mark 1 Golf. So for these ones here... Um, Bit hard to do it one hand, one second. So here we have the whole strut pulled all the way out. So the piston is all the way up. And just by putting my finger here at the side, I can actually feel the piston retracting very, very slowly back in. So what happens is there's actually oil in, inside this and it's under a tiny bit of pressure. So like like a little bit of gas or just a bit of um, air pressure just inside it, then it's sealed. So when you pull it up, it all the time wants to slowly, slowly retract all the way back in. So it's actually retracting there at the moment. You can see it's actually getting shorter all the time, one versus the other. And uh, to replace them, it's actually quite easy. So this big nut here, you just undo that, pull the whole sleeve out, Here's a new sleeve, push it all the way back in, and they even gave me a new collar if I want to use it. So just put the two of them back, all, all back together. So now I'd have a new strut with, that would take on the Mark 1 Golf um, suspension attached at the bottom. So you can see it just there. So that, that's a hollow tube, and this just fits inside it, all locks up. And now you'd have brand new suspension in a Mark 1 Golf. See, so look, it's already retracting there all the time. So that's how you know that's a new one and it's perfectly good to work and this one is old and worn out because it won't retract back in. So the actual dampening itself is bet. And also, also when you put pressure just up here, there's just not enough resistance to, to fight against your arm. Like although it will go down, it's going down too quickly. Again look at this one, it's already retracting all the time and even when I push, it's, there's a huge resistance there, so you know it's, it's properly dampening, where this one, it won't dampen enough or dampen quick enough. Um, so that's how you know good shocks from old shocks. Um, I'll go